skill-based matchmaking. You either love it or you hate it. Most of us hate it. I'm gonna be honest. But what if I told you that we reversed engineered skill-based matchmaking? What if I told you that people have been doing it for a while now and they can get any lobby they want? That's right. The lowest of the lows. The bottom of the barrel. There's a reason why people aren't dropping the amount of kills that I drop in my lobbies. You know what I mean? So according to many, reverse boosting is cheating. But well, first guys, before we continue, please hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. And if you're already enjoying this video, smash the like button. If not, wait till the end. But well, here's the problem guys. There are people out there with mixed emotions when it comes to reverse boosting. We are gonna be talking about VPNs today because that is the most recent form of reverse boosting into bot lobbies. The VPN breaks the skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty Warzone one and warzone 2 but if you were to take a little trip down memory lane and take a look back at some of the history of these creators who are able to drop 30s 40s or high 20 kill games then these guys would never ever mention the fact that reverse boosting in fact before people really understood what reverse boosting was or before people understood how the vpn worked for bot lobbies these creators would sit on their high horse and talk about how they are that good the game struggles to match them against people of their own level Oh my god. Considering that I have a 4KD and there just aren't enough 4KD players to fill up lobbies fast enough, like I'm gonna go I'm gonna go out on a whim and agree with you that the players are not as good as me in these lobbies. But there's just not enough good players to get enough matches at that KD of a lobby. The way skill-based matchmaking works is it tries to find people in your skill base, but over time, it'll just slowly lower the skill base and it takes too long to find people. That's why people in Hawaii have really big bot lobbies. <laughs> That's how skill-based matchmaking works. That's why it looks like if, like, if I'm worse... Like, if someone has a 2 KD, I technically have double their KD. Now, does that mean they can't kill me and, and the, the, they're bad at the game? No, but for the most part, it'll just mean they're not as good as I am. Now, what's fascinating about TC Tech is the fact that this guy has had multiple instances in Warzone 1 on Rebirth Island where his aim snaps onto enemies. So already he is sus for aimbot. But we are talking about bot lobbies today. TC Tech is somebody who clearly reverse boosts into bot lobbies. And it is painfully obvious when you go and take a scroll through his YouTube channel, you can see by the videos he posts regularly, 20 plus kill games, 30 plus kill games. It is just unnatural. And and as I said, there are people with mixed emotions. For example, Rara, who now uses a VPN for bot lobbies, was once against people using it unless they stated they used it. If you use this method, or any method, in the future or in the past, my belief is that you need to say that. You need to own that you do this. I don't care if you do it. Do it. But own it. Don't pretend that you're playing in your normal skill bracket and you're not. So even if we were to abide by Rara's rules that he's just stated then, would TC Tech pass the test? Let's take a look. There is absolutely nothing in his description here that states he is using a VPN or any form of reverse boosting method for bot lobbies. So TC Tech is a cheater he's constantly posting high kill videos and yes he can sit there and say it's for content purposes but you are still a cheater tc tech reverse boosting his way into bot lobbies whilst also having extremely snappy aim in warzone 1 and we will be taking a deeper dive into his gameplay Favor down the line in Warzone 2. Now here's the icing on the cake. Who remembers the fact that Rara tried his best to become a hacker hunter, claiming to be the best out there? Now of course, if you take out the equation of him being wrong about 5x5x and him blindly defending Zelena, he did absolutely nothing. 
No, he did He didn't actually expose anyone. In fact, he repurposed the video of Mr. Gold once, so that wasn't even his find, right? So he didn't do anything. So he was the worst hacker hunter on the scene, but claiming to be the best. This guy is a narcissist. In fact, about two years ago, on one of Rara's most viewed videos about somebody named Hydro reverse boosting, Rara actually taught those viewers how to reverse boost. I want you guys to be able to use it. I really fought with the thought, so here's how to do it. You need two accounts. One is your personal that you use every day. Your next one is going to be an account that's never played a game. It's never shot a gun. It's never got a kill. Brand new account. You're going to put that account on another console or on another PC, and you're going to have it host a lobby. So your personal, lo your personal is going to join on the bot account. You're going to search for the lobby with the bot account. And then you just back out. It's that simple. So, abuse it, use it. But if you do, claim you do it. Let people know you do it. If you're a streamer, show people you do it. If you're a YouTuber, tell people. Put a disclaimer in the video. Reverse boosted lobby. I don't care if it's a text. I don't care if you just say it out loud. Because guess what? It's easy to tell when you watch the gameplay. Hydro, it's very easy to fucking tell. So with people like Rara out there teaching others how to reverse boost, of course it's gonna breed these corner cutting cheating streamers because these guys are learning as they go. They watch a video like Rara's and all of a sudden they know how to get bot lobbies. They will be dropping 20 bombs in no time against people who are possibly disabled, against children, against those who don't really know how to play the game. Well done, 20 kills against bots. It's not great. So whether you agree or disagree with this, any form of manipulation of the game to cause you to have an upper hand against your opponents that is outside of the game's mechanics skill based matchmaking then you are cheating it's that simple so tc tech has been reverse boosting for a very long time no matter which method he uses i'm saying today with vpn usage for bot lobbies being the most recent form of reverse boosting the chances are he's doing that and it's painfully obvious to tell because with a vpn you don't need to join on a separate account you don't need to join on one of your other accounts that has never played the game you simply just turn the vpn on and that will help you break the skill based matchmaking and if you go and check out one of TC Tech streams, it is very easy to tell that every single game is a bot lobby and he is able to drop high kill games. So if we spin back to that video earlier where TC Tech was talking about how he has a 4KD in Rebirth Island, so the game struggles to match him against other sweaty players. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go out on a whim and agree with you that the players are not as good as me in these lobbies. But there's just not enough good players to get enough matches at that KD of a lobby. The way skill-based matchmaking works is it tries to find people in your skill base, but over time, it'll just slowly lower the skill base if it takes too long to find people. That's why people in Hawaii have really big bot lobbies. That's how skill-based matchmaking works. That's why it looks like if, like if I'm worse... Like, if someone has a 2 KD, I technically have double their KD. Now, does that mean they can't kill me and, and they're bad at the game? No, but... For the most part, it'll just mean they're not as good as I am. But then take a look at his lobbies now. It is painfully obvious to see this guy was lying about reverse boosting for a very long time. I wonder if he'll come out and own up to it now. Well, he didn't own up to use an aimbot when he was accused of that. So let's see what the future holds for TC Tech. I will be doing some digging and we will uncover everything we possibly can. If you did enjoy today's video, guys, smash that thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our future videos. And if you guys want to get a little bit more involved, you can join our Discord server. It's linked in the description below. Until next time, I'll catch it on the flip side. P -p 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 Peace!